Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here and welcome to the channel. Season's greetings for those who are visiting the channel for the first time and season's greetings for those who have already been here before. Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. I want to continue with those amazing Alpha Zero Stockfish games and I do have some 200 games to look at. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas! I normally look at games where Stockfish lost and I looked at the reasons why it lost and my conclusion is that something very fishy is going on. You only need to look at a few of the games I featured to see why these games are so fishy. I want to deviate from that for now and look at how easy even Alpha Zero can go down and I hope this is not going to take that long to look at. We are in fact looking at a game with only 22 moves, no more. I'm also going to look at why it was possible for Alpha Zero to lose a game. It would have no trouble winning. And this is if we believe what went on is true. And this game is very strange too, because we do have an opening book, an eight move opening book. So there might be a few very limited reasons why Alpha Zero lost. One is that the opening book was heavily skewed in favour of Stockfish. Two, Alpha Zero blundered. And three, Alpha Zero was simply outplayed. And this normally happens with certain specific opening lines. Now that we have all the background info, let's kick off with this game. This is round 23 from the portion of games where an opening book was used. And in this particular game, we do have an eight move opening book. And we are looking at this startup position. And again, we can see why it has some advantage using this setup. And as usual, let's come back to see where these moves come from. Stockfish White kicked off with an E4 opening. And when the French appeared after D4 and D5, the knight was introduced. And when the kingside knight was also developed, this knight was pinned and through this bishop move, e5. And when the knight backed off, we saw h4 to cover for the bishop. And when everything here came off, after the knight attacked the queen, the queen returned to e7 and this completes the opening book. So what we have is the classical Steinich variation of the French or if you like the Alpin Catard Gambit, a very interesting gambit in fact. The French has always been popular, but this particular opening gives some advantage if you're playing with the white pieces. It was said Alpha Zero lost one game to every 10 wins and did mind have used a very large variation of opening books and they have tested these using what they used in the Top Chess Engine Championship with both Alpha Zero and Stockfish playing the same openings with different colours. The number one response in this position that you see is what Stockfish went for by getting his queen in to challenge this G7 spot. Can Black Castle here? Well, he can, but with already some pieces developed on the king's side, I'm not sure this is going to be a good idea. Knight f4, knight c6, and long. When the bishop lines up on d3, look at this great attack potential. And nearly every single piece is directed towards the opposing king. And there is no way black is going to be able to come out of this one in one piece. Even if your name is alpha zero. So when the queen moved into g4, Alpha Zero came up with this response. And now when the knight crept into g5, already from the word go, White is going to use the semi-open file to take advantage of this position. The knight was attacked, but since the rook on h8 is pinned, there is no rush to get him out from where he is. And I'm talking about the knight. Stockfish here went for long. And when the queenside knight was developed, we have a near identical position as the one we went through earlier. But this time we have no castles for black, but h6. 
and this is the only difference basically. Bishop d3 is playable here, but Stockfish opted for this equally exciting opportunity. He got the knight into b5, looking to fork the king and rook. But how dangerous is this attack from Stockfish, and is there anything Alpha Zero can do to bypass this problem? King d8 not only looks, but it is bad, so let's forget this move. Queen d8 is even worse, so let's forget this one too. The two other possible responses is to go for a knight move to either b6 or f8. And this forking problem is resolved. So alpha zero went for a knight move. The chess terminator chose for this type of response by getting his knight into b6. And whatever white does, you can then have this knight kicked and his problem solved with this case on c7. If only chess was that simple though. Stockfish here went for a rook lift, but it wasn't the knight that was attacked, but the queen on the other side of the board. Now, for those who like a good, strong challenge, give this position some deep thinking and try and figure out what possible responses might be there for white. Do you move the queen out of harm's way, or is there something else in this position that can warrant a different type of response? Stockfish never went for this move. But what happens if you line up your rook on f3 and if now the queen is taken? This is what you have coming. Rook takes check when the king escapes the only available spot on the board. Boom. Like a rocket. Rook takes when the queen captures. After the knight takes, this game is pretty much over. Thus only white is all over the place. He also has great piece mobility. And if you see how black has it, both knights have it very bad, but even worse are the state of the bishop and the rook in the corner. So there is no way you can get them into the game before white executes. Why are you? But let's come back to see whether stockfish went for this or any other response. What do you think, guys? It in fact did exactly that. Rook f3. And now when the knight was attacked, it seems Stockfish doesn't care too much about the knight. He went for a queen move. And this is a problem that you have with such a board position unfolding. Take this knight and it might be too late. Using the knight on g5, you want me to point out the obvious. After rook takes f7, you can either drop the queen or have her saved. Queen d8 will get this rook to move east of the board. Or you could even afford to remove b5. It seems this rook move to g7 looks slightly stronger. But let us go for bishop takes b5 if you like, just to be able to pin the knight. And now if the rook gets saucy and removes a2, after the king goes after him and rook back to base, bishop d3 works, queen f4 works, and black goes absolutely nowhere. But we do need to come back to this game to see how it really went. Alpha Zero never removed the knight and went for this very mysterious knight move to d8. But how mysterious is this knight back into d8? Given that it protects f7, it does not look that bad after all. But Stockfish 8 loves this response because his own evil shoots up and this is how the engine took advantage. Knight back to c3. Got the other knight to, to move into d7. And though this looks like black is out the woods, Stockfish has a huge advantage here. He went for this bishop move, which was begged to be played. And when this guy returned to f8, alpha zero knew he was in trouble, but wanted to find the best move to defend. Given that Stockfish might be thinking of sacking the bishop on g6, this might also explain this knight move to f8. Given that the king has not made a single move yet, and given neither of the black rooks have moved, black can still go for castles in either direction, but is he going to find the time to do this? Rook f6 looks like a great move, but many moves are playable in this position. It is very strange what both Stockfish 8 and Stockfish 10 show to be the best move here. What do you think this might be? 
they see a3 for some reason. The engine also likes this king move to b1. But give the engine enough time to think of what his best move might be. And this is what it comes up with, rook h4. And when the engine did go for this, after rook g8, even the most advanced player will get into the difficult stuff. Both engines love queen f4, and yet this move is not being played. With an estimated evil of 2.06 for stockfish 10, and 1.1 for stockfish 8, this should be the ideal position for stockfish to convert. By the way, the engine is also looking at a possible knight back to h3. And the more time you give the engine to think about this position, it begins to switch minds about three possible options. One is knight h3, two is queen f4, and three is king b1. And then it's looking at a3. What do you think the engine came up with here? And let me give you two seconds to think about it. And if you need more time, you can always pause. If you have found the move that was mentioned earlier, take back and try again. Anyone found this tremendous and rather impossible move? And this is it. Offering the bishop, and this is why I believe Stockfish is very hard to be beaten, by the score it did by alpha zero. And maybe what is more surprising is to see how alpha zero reacts here. He did even take the bishop, but went for a queen repositioning, but for sure, this was not expected. Why not? Because Stockfish's evil shot up by another three whole points. So we know this alpha zero response therefore counts for some type of blunder. Given this position is difficult enough, Stockfish adds even more pressure here, and this is something the engine has no trouble doing. He went for another impossible move, and before I show you, if Bishop C4 was hard enough, what do you think of this one? Knight E4 and Stockfish wants Alpha Zero to grab either the Bishop or the Knight. He grabbed the Knight. And when the knight recaptured, it's all about this bottom f6, and right now there is not even time to remove d4. Alpha 0 summoned the knight into h7 to protect f6, but what is wrong with this move, and why do you think Alpha 0 resigned after Stockfish went for this move he did? And let me get you out of your misery in case you wonder what Stockfish did here. Rook takes h5. Take the rook, and the queen comes in with a check. When the knight falls, there will be no need to carry on. But what if the queen removes d4? After queen g4, if you take the bishop, the queen can also drop. But don't rush things. First there is rook takes knight. And though there is this queen check, after king d2, there is no way you can protect f6. And this is why for zero resigned. This is... One of the few games Stockfish is said to have won a game, and certainly one that no blunders were actually committed. In fact, there have been some very weak moves, but if you need to point any fingers, we have to point them to the other side of the board. Move 12, knight b6, was in fact the beginning of the end file for zero. But if you move here, Move 19, bishop c4. This was a killer move. And if you like, and again, why not take him? Okay, there is d5. And if you take this guy, after the knight takes d5, whatever you do, this knight is probably the strongest piece in the game right now. You see this queen here? Well, kiss her a very big goodbye because she will be lost. Even queen d7 loses to this knight for queen f6, so maybe this was the reason why the bishop was not removed. But if we come back, when alpha zero went for a queen move, by not removing the bishop, after this double impossible response by Stockfish, not even alpha zero was able to sustain this attack. And not only Stockfish wins this game from alpha zero, but look at in how many moves he did this. I think this was the fastest 
win in the entire series, if you like, from the games we have on record. Stockfish won because it played the game it normally does. And this is yet another reason why I believe Stockfish is a much stronger engine. There is no way Stockfish played as bad as they say it did, having seen how immaculate it played today's game. Of course, Stockfish 10 is a much stronger engine, but let's not bring in Stockfish 10. I think Stockfish 8 did a great job, and it's very hard to believe that this engine lost nearly all his games against Alpha Zero. And if you really want to know what happened in the other game, using the same opening when Alpha Zero took the white pieces, there was, in fact, no such game. The other game played between the two went into an entirely different book move. On move 5, when the knight moved back to d7, we saw no h4, but bishop takes. And when the queen recaptured, f4, castles, and the game went into an entirely different direction. This game lasted 49 moves, and alpha 0 won it. But don't tell me I have a closer look at it, because I'm sure I'm going to find something entirely wrong with it. So until I get my hands on this game, this was your chess puzzler and season's greetings.